This is Kajol Jadav and I am here to explain daily current affairs for UPSC Civil Services exam. US government shuts down as midnight deadline passes. What are lawmakers fighting about? What are the immediate effects of US shutdown? How much will it hurt the US economy? How will people be affected? Which government services would continue? This can be the most probable question for 2018 exam. One can see it under GS Paper 2, Effect of Policies and Politics of Developing and Developed Countries. In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from thehindu.com, dated January 21st, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? The United States federal government began partial shutdown at midnight Friday after Senate Democrats voted to block a bill over immigration and spending. A measure to fund the government until the middle of February was passed in the House of Representatives on Thursday. It would deliver a direct and indirect impact on the US economy. The last shutdown was in 2013 and lasted 16 days. What are lawmakers fighting about? Since the end of the fiscal year in September, the government has been operating on temporary funding measures. The current one expired at midnight. Republicans and Democrats have not been able to agree on spending levels for the rest of the year, so another short-term measure is the most likely solution. The House has passed a four-week bill. Thursday, that also extends funding for a children's health insurance program. But Democrats have been saying for weeks they want a funding measure to be tied to an immigration deal that protects the thousands of young immigrants facing deportation. That deal has not come together and Democrats have decided to dig in. They blocked the House passed bill. Both sides were still negotiating early Saturday. What are the immediate effects of US shutdown? The direct impact would be an immediate loss of productivity from about 700,000 government employees deemed non-essential. These workers will be forlorn, meaning they will be put on leave until the government resumes functioning. While there is no guarantee government workers will be paid for this leave, historically they have been paid retroactively in the case of the shutdown. Even if they are paid, the US government will experience lost productivity from almost a million people. How much will it hurt the US economy? The 2013 shutdown cost the US economy $24 billion, according to estimates from S&P, while costly GDP was over $16 trillion that year. The firm estimates a shutdown would cost the US economy about $6 billion per week in 2018. Any losses this early in the year could be regained later. How will people be affected? National parks, museums and monuments are expected to shut down, as will the processing of passports and visas if the shutdown continues beyond a few days. This will impact tourism. Over $43 billion has been awarded in contracts for the fiscal year 2018, according to government figures. None of this money will be paid as long as the shutdown continues. 
that will remove a fair amount of money from the pockets of private citizens throughout the country. With the shutdown, 9 million children whose parents usually earn too much to qualify for Medicaid but not enough to afford private health coverage have less certainty about the future of their health care. Which government services would continue? Those related to natural security and domestic safety, including the military, law enforcement and air traffic control. Certain entitlements such as hospitals for veterans administered by the government and food stamps for families in need would be unaffected. Federal courts where the Trump administration is currently battling an order to undo his decision to end the DACA program will continue but are subject to disruption.